they are Toastbusters, members, guests, to be members, guests. Dear Serge, Sergey, whatever. I did like your speech a lot, although uh, it was quite unexpected to evaluate right on the spot, especially when I saw the objectives, which are which look pretty weak. Well, prepare a report that is to an interest to, that is of an interest to an audience. You did prepare a report that is of much great interest to the audience. And yes, I did notice uh, the email that was sent uh, on behalf of your name. And uh, the people responded. Actually, I didn't, but people did respond, I guess, according to the research. And that indicates that this topic was to an interest, for, of an interest to, to uh, all of us. Conduct the demonstration as part of a speech delivered without notes. Well, for an advanced speaker like you, notes, well, if you can see this at this picture, but the pills as a note, of course it's not a note. So objectives were met. What I would recommend people to, to actually take from Sergei and inherit in their speeches is a wonderful, that's a nice part of a sandwich, is a wonderful way uh, how you actually use your gestures and uh, vocal variety. That's what I really like a lot because uh, when I heard your first speech three or four years ago, you used gestures quite weirdly. You were touching some parts of your face. This time I was recording the video and I would strongly advise all of you and other people to watch it and see how gestures strictly corresponded to the idea of your speech. And I like the vocal variety except for some several vocal vocalized uhs that you were putting in the speech, but there were not many, like five or six. Now, about the topic of your speech. A very interesting topic, uh, rather provocative. And there is something in this topic, I mean in the flow of your speech, that I probably didn't like very much. Your speech looked and sounded like an equation that was solved by you by the end of the speech. So, there were some Freedom of choice, different varieties like mm, winning a lottery or losing your leg. Then you plus something else like mm, an example for us to, to, to follow and to evaluate. Then you minus something else. So you made a lot of uh, consequent examples and ideas that were uh, quite repetitious. So basically we'll look, you will actually see it in the video. So it was like this maybe again this repetitious and finally on the eighth minute by the end of the eighth minute of your speech you said hey synthesize happiness this is what i'm talking about i was thinking that you probably speak about freedom of choice which probably is the same as synthesize happiness probably is not i would say that the examples that you took were quite picky because some of them can be discussed and over discussed again and they wouldn't reflect the whole idea properly so i can actually think and uh, probably not agree with some of them but all in all I think this speech was very interesting very informative and of a great interest to an audience so thanks a lot